Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to briefly explain uh, the way that we remove uh, intragastric balloons, the SPATS3 balloon uh, more specifically, and all balloon insertion and insertions removals, all dilatations at our clinic are done under tracheal and intubation and under general anesthesia. Once the patient uh, put to sleep and after the intubation, first uh, we go with the scope uh, to have a look within the uh, stomach to see the balloon and now we're gonna find uh, we're gonna try to find uh, the very tip of this whitish uh, cannula let's say the uh, the, the thread uh, the the thread is located at the very end uh, of this uh, whitish tube now we're gonna see it and then once we find the thread which is now which can be now seen a little bit at the right hand side uh, once we find it we we have to grasp it with a sneer and then uh, we have to remove the endoscope while grabbing this thread so that uh, the the tubing the the uh, which is inside that uh, whitish cannula we can retrieve it uh, from the mouth of the patient and we can take it out so that once we will secure that in our hands the very end of end of that catheter then we're gonna apply another line to it and then we will remove all the uh, saline within the balloon now we manage to hold the uh, thread and we are uh, removing all the endoscope uh, with the sneer here the very end is now visible we take out that cap and that line is attached to another line and then we will leave it in the mouth of the patient which will retract towards the, uh, the stomach but since now we have access uh, to the fluid in the balloon we'll be able to remove uh, what we have uh, previously gave to the patient with a big uh, 60 uh, milliliter or 50 cc syringe we're gonna remove it we already know how much we how much volume we already uh, uh, gave to the patient so we can uh, be sure that the balloon is completely empty actually but there is a way to check it afterwards before removing it so it's not that important once the whole volume let's say 450 cc or 600 cc is removed then as you can see we are applying the sneer again to this very tip this is a uh, this is a method that uh, we found out allowing easy extirpation of the balloon now we are going back to the yeah here we see the empty balloon and the sneer is already holding that very tip now we have to put the sneer few centimeters nearer to the balloon so that it will be more easier that the whitish part is not stretchable yeah, okay that's fine and now if we take it out with the endoscope the balloon uh, will be going out and will be shown in, in a moment this is the way that the spats balloon is retreat and it's the most unrisky way of doing it.